It's time for the 2019 Cloud Bowl. And do we have a matchup for you? The two top seeds, Microsoft's Azure and Amazon's AWS, are set to face off. Let's head down to the action with our sideline reporter, Peter. All right, thank you, Zach. And yeah, you can cut the tension with a knife down here. What we've got today is two competitors that are trying to spin up a Windows virtual machine. Justin's going to be doing it in AWS, and Adam here is going to be doing it in Azure. I'm going to take you. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I know I'm not the default platform, I'm, I'm but we'll take see what you. happens. And Justin has won the toss, so he's on the clock. So let's get started. All right, let's do it. So. I'm right here in the AWS console, and uh, I, I'm going to hop over into my EC2 uh, console, my dashboard here, and I'm going to go to Launch Instance. And, you know, just to keep the playing field level, we're going to both use the exact same Windows, well, not exact same, pretty close to the same Windows or Microsoft Windows Server 2016 base, the Data Center Edition. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to go with a T2 small just so we can have comparable hardware. And then I'm going to go ahead and configure my instance. I need to make sure that I'm getting an IP address. So number of instances, I'm good. It's going in the default VPC. I have no preference for subnet. That's all good. I do want to make sure I have that public IP. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to RDP into it. Uh, I am roll. Don't need it for this. We're looking good. All right, let's add some storage. That default looks good to me. Add some tags. That eh, looks good to me as well. And here we are. I'm going to double check the security group. I have RDP at 3389 uh, from anywhere in the world. Uh, here, here we go, review and launch. So I'm right there, I'm going to hit launch, and this is where I need to grab a key pair because otherwise I'm not gonna get credentials for the RDP client. So I'm going to create a new key pair, and I'm gonna say Windows pair. I'm gonna download that key pair. I'm gonna go ahead and click launch instance. Now, this is gonna start launching my instance, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and go over to the dashboard and I'm going to select this instance, and there's not a lot I can do until uh, this kind of gets up and running, and then I'll be able to connect. So there's a little bit of waiting, but I know the clock's still running, so I'm hoping that this executes quickly. All right, now I'm back, and we finally have that, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Connect, and because I'm, I'm using RDP, I have this remote desktop file, I'm gonna go ahead and download that, and to get the password, oh, not yet available, wait at least four minutes. Four but minutes? I, I know, it's crazy, right? So, Say it uh -oh, isn't so. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But while that's working, I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, my RDP client set up with my remote desktop file, and maybe I can kind of split the difference here. Adam, I don't know, you might be able to take is me that, in this Is that one. a time penalty <laughs> because you just, you're using AWS? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. There are times where it hasn't been this, uh, hasn't taken this long, but we'll have to see. So. Who knows if my Mac put me way over here. Yep, it sure did. Put me way over here away from all my other stuff. Let's try to get that password. Oh. Still not. The time's running out. Time's uh, running uh, up, I, I should I, say. I, I know, I know. You well, got plenty of it, because it's not going to take me this long. Oh, here we go again. Well, while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and go over to my key file and my downloads. And my key file is that Windows pair. And if I cut that out, Windows pair, then I have this. I'm gonna use PB copy to go ahead and get that in my, my clipboard. That way, as soon as this is ready, I can grip my credentials, I can go ahead and log in. In two and a half minutes. Uh, in two and a half minutes, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Let's, let's go ahead and, and hit it, get password, and there ah. we go, paste, decrypt password. Oh yeah, uh, real quick tidbit, use this copy to clipboard, extra white space is, is a killer, so. Here we go, it done, and now it says, do you want to continue? Looks like yeah, you don't have necessarily all the certificates. And wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it's loading sessions manager, administrator, and I'm gonna call, it's so close. Oh, really? I'm gonna get theme updates now? And we're almost at the desktop. I'm, I'm hoping this is enough to take home the gold, but I guess we'll have to I have to give it that final time. I'm not quite finished yet, and I'm gonna call time. All right, so let me show you how it's done, because, you know, this is Azure, and it's gonna be cool. So I have to create a resource group, unlike what Justin had to do. So I'm gonna do that quickly. I'm just gonna give my resource group my name so that it comes up <clears throat> right away at the top of the default list so that when I go in, I actually don't have to select it when I'm creating. So I'm gonna click Add. We said server 2016, so I'm gonna scroll over and down, choose data center, just like Justin did. Click create. 
and I'm gonna go ahead. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just zoom out here just because I can't get to every place on the screen I need to. I've already got my resource group specified. I'm gonna call my machine VM1. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change my instance size so it matches Justin's. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a smaller instance here so that it's the same. I have to give it a username and a password that meets the complexity requirements. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna allow RDP in because if I don't do that, we won't be able to get onto the VM. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave storage alone just the way Justin did. Same thing here, we take a look at networking. I'm gonna go ahead, allow inbound ports and all that is good. I'm gonna go ahead right down here and just go through. We're not gonna do any extensions, no tagging, just like Justin. Gonna do a quick review and create. And as soon as that's done, get that started. Mine's gonna kick off initializing the deployment. Just let that do its thing. And we've got this little area here that's gonna refresh. And as we're starting the deployment, you'll see everything is running. My clock for duration counts up. So you see it's going 11, 15, et cetera. Uh, so as soon as mine is done, I'll download my RDP file. I don't have to do, uh, go ahead and decrypt my password. I just have to put in my username and my password. It's a little bit different than when Justin did. And I'll go ahead and I will then be able to actually RDP into the VM. Now, when I refresh, you'll see everything other than the virtual machine has already been completed. So my public IP, my network security group, all that's there. All I'm waiting on is the virtual machine instance itself to finish deployment. As soon as that's done, we'll be able to go ahead and RDP in. All right, so I'm done. Just saw the prompt there telling me I'm finished. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just jump right over here to my resource groups. I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna go to my virtual machine, bring up my instance and I'm gonna connect in. Now, what I have to do to connect right here, I'm like Justin, we're both using RDP. I do get a prompt to download my connect file. So I'm gonna do that right here and I'm gonna open that. But unlike Justin, I don't have to go to the trouble of downloading and decrypting a password and a username based on a key pair. I just have to provide that username and password that I've already specified. Certificates are the same first time but I RDP in using my native client, just like Justin did. And you can see, I'm gonna get my desktop, comes up in just a moment. And <clears throat> we wait, cause it's Windows. And we wait some more. But once I get to the desktop, remember our goal is to compare uh, desktop showing on both. So I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting close. There's my prepping out Windows. There's our deep, dark, black well of nothingness while we wait for our desktop to appear. And then almost there, almost there, there's my media player, because you gotta initialize that. Lord knows we need that when we're doing a time trial. And wait for it, wait for it some more. You're gonna see Justin's face come poking out of that black screen there in just a second. He's gonna be laughing at me, because <laughs> it took me longer even though I was trash talking him. And there's our desktop. So. That's how I can deploy my Windows desktop in Azure. And there you have it. That was a battle for the ages. What a fight. I'm being told Peter has caught up with the winner. So let's head back down. Thank you, Zach. And I have caught up with the winner here, Justin, who almost uh, did it in, in about half the time. Justin, what do you attribute that to? Uh, well, I'll say it probably has to do with those, uh, those resource groups that I don't have to make, whereas Adam does. And, you know, I, sometimes I just get lucky. It could have taken up to four minutes for that uh, key pair to, to give me my, my password. Luckily, I came in out of the wire. And, uh, you know, but I would say it might be that AWS is just a little bit better. Sounds like. A little bit better, a little bit quicker. I'm thinking maybe a little bit quicker, not better. How about a rematch? I'm thinking uh, Linux. Ah, uh, well, there it is. We're, you throwing down? I am throwing down. Uh, well, I don't have a penguin, but I'm throwing one uh, proverbially on the desktop. Uh, Zach, you heard it here first. It sounds like we have a rematch and a, an exciting twist here in the Cloud Bowl. So make sure you subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel so you can check that out as we go for a Linux virtual machine next time. 
right here on the Cloud Bowl 2019. Well, that's an exciting twist. Be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel by clicking here to catch the rematch. And thanks for joining me with the Cloud Bowl 2019. Wow.